model of an illegal whiskey steel sight would look like. This is his cap that goes on the top of his pot. The cap. Put the cap on it like the lid, seal it off, build up the pressure. When he cranks this thing up to run it, you can hear it. It sounds like a jet engine. This like... And then the vapor comes over to this thing here. The thumper. The thumper, yeah. What the thumper does is it catches a lot of the big impurities that kind of just comes up through the steel that doesn't turn into a vapor. Call this the thumper because when it builds up pressure, it goes to do, to do, to do. That's how you get that bloop, 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 bloop. Now, what is this? It's the worm. and Yeah, that's the worm, and it it's, it's acts as a condenser. This is a, the cold water. Now, as the vapors come back over into here, of course, the cooling box has the worm set inside of it, and it's filled full of water. And the effect of this going from hot to cold turns that vapor back to liquid. Yeah. So as we catch it and filter it here, then we put it in this tank here. The proofing barrel? Proofing barrel. How about that? <laughs> you know that everything, all the Ace. steps. <laughs> we take all the alcohol out of here. We put it all in the proofing barrel. So it's kind of like consolidating the proof. Mix. Yeah, it's blending and mixing it to get one proof. And that's when the little tricks of their trade will come in to proofing it. The first run will probably be about 100, 110 proof liquor. So sometimes they'll cut it with some water. Generally, the end results will be about 85, 88 proof liquor. And then you jug it up. If you do it all right, you should get about 10% of what your mash you got. From this 800-gallon pot, he can produce anywhere from 100 to 120 gallons per run. A lot of work, but they can do it. 120 gallons at $40 a gallon can mean close to $5,000 on each run alone, tax-free. What do you think? Lots of hard work. Lots of hard work. But it's also extremely dangerous. That there have been some pretty bad accidents because uh, sometimes the propane tanks have fallen over, causing an explosion. I was always taught by the, the old legends, you know, we're going to have people lay hands on the, on the bad guys, but we all going to have guys to stop that blow off. It's very dangerous. And we get to this part, I think that's where you ought to cut out, because this is like the dangerous part. So this probably not be a good time for you to be around, right. you know. So tomorrow I won't see you. It's the end of the road for JT. Tonight, Tim and Tickle fire up the still alone. And once it's started, there's no stopping until moonshine is flowing. They go ahead and they start firing this baby up. They put the flame to it. That's the still in the spirits. And then they're committed then. They're going to see it through. <laughs>